Welcome back. Well, we come to the final part of the show. It's time for my final guest uh, before we have some fabulous music from Reed Orr, and you're going to love that, I promise you. But first of all, they don't come much cooler than this man, Mr Usain Bolt. Look at this. <laughs> It's like a pawnbroker's shop, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Three. Wow. Congratulations. Very That's nice. 100 metres, 200 metres, and the other one, you only do half the work. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the relay. Was that, who, was that, who handed you the batman that? Was that um, Johan? Yeah, Johan Blake. Who beat you a while back, didn't he? Yeah, I had to make the Olympics interesting, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, first of all, thank you for coming on the show and thank you for staying in the country. Well, I think you, you must enjoy it here in the UK because many athletes have gone straight back to their home countries to soak up the, the, the welcome <laughs> and the adulation. You, you've, you're hanging out over here for a little while. Yeah, I have a few more races to go, so uh -huh. yes, this is where we base, so I'll stay here. Okay, so where are your other races? Where are you going off to? Uh, um, Switzerland, Lausanne, and then Zurich, and then Brussels. Wow. Those are my last three races. Uh, but you enjoy being in Europe generally? You like this part of the world? No. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. Uh, the weather's not the best, but no. yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's quite warm at the moment. The thing is, I'm outside of London, so there's nothing really to do. So is that to keep you out of trouble? <laughs> keep you away from temptation? Yeah. yeah. That could be it. I'm, yeah. I, my coach doesn't like me to yeah. move around. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> Let's maybe get back to that. <laughs> Let's uh, talk about the sport first, uh, because congratulations, you are you know, officially, no one can doubt this, you are the fastest man of, of every single person on this planet. Especially you. No, you <laughs> see, I'll tell you, I... Uh, but you're the fastest man on the planet. How does that feel? How do you carry that around with you? What is that? Well, it, it's great. It, it, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, as you said, sometimes I sit down and I think about, like, I'm actually the fastest man in the world. I can see people, I say, you know what, I can beat you. <laughs> I can beat you. I can beat you. I definitely can beat you. <laughs> you established so, that. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. It's, so every time you turn on the TV, everyone on TV, you can beat. Yeah, yeah exactly. Every time you fly over a country, everyone <laughs> on that country, you yeah. can beat. Oh, and awesome even the country that. you just left, I can beat them all. <laughs> and more than once, I mean, to defend uh, the 100 and 200 metres, yeah. to hold the world record, 9.58 seconds, yes. I believe it was your first time. That's incredible. Yeah. And do you think, uh, we've been talking to the other guys about maybe Rio, have you got four more years in you, do you think, you're saying? I definitely think so, yeah. Uh, a few other athletes I've seen are 30, and they're doing pretty well, so I think if I, if I pace myself right... Because you're, what, 25 now? I'm going to be 26 next week, so, yeah. So, happy birthday, I'm not, I'm not a boy. I'm not a boy, okay? You're a full-grown man. Thank you very much. Um, you know, we mentioned that record, 9.58 seconds. Uh, do you think that you will ever beat that? Do you think anyone will ever beat that? What, what, what do you think is the fastest, realistically, that someone will ever be able to, to, to run the 100 metres? I've, I've said 9.40 something, I'm not sure. So you sure. think down to 9.40 something? Uh, yeah, I think the possibility is there. I wasn't the fittest this season. Have um, you done it faster than that when not in no, competition? No, 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 no. I wish, I wish. It would have been good, but no, I've done it. In training, it's just, I take it really easy in training. It's not, it's not as easy as it yeah. looks. Well, you seem to take it easy sometimes near the end of races. <laughs> I've seen you, you've been ahead of people, you look around, you look at them and you see what you go, oh yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> keep running, <laughs> and, and you win yeah. comfortably, but how does that make the other guys yeah. feel? <laughs> You're in front of them going, yeah, yeah. come on, come on. <laughs> no, they, I think if they could go this fast, they would do the same thing. Of so. course they would, <laughs> we all would. Do your mum and dad, do they still give you a hard time about anything at all or now that you've bought so many gold medals home that you're, you're exempt from any criticism? No, no, no. They, I have no problems. I have no problems. Well, I can always buy my mum out if I get into trouble. <laughs> she <laughs> loves to travel and stuff, so if I get into trouble, I say, Mom, you know what? 
it would look good going to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll get away, but my dad, my dad is the more disciplined one. He, he's it's more serious than my mom, so I can't really buy him out. Anymore. But you're focused <laughs> on the sport right now, anyway. You yes. know, and, and, but how do you unwind? We've mentioned dominoes. We know that's one of your passions. Uh, Swedish ladies seem to be uh, a welcome <laughs> pursuit. Uh, what do you What do you do to unwind? What's the the fun way of you when you're not training? There we are with the ladies. That's not me. You sure? <laughs> Is that me? Yeah, that's you. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I told you, I think about changing sports. I was getting some tips. Yeah. Tell to use my hands. Uh, did people try and waste your I mean, I've been joking oh, about it, but did people, when you, if you were out in a club drinking, I bet everyone would love the chance to just to run against you. Uh, I'm serious. It's, it's been crazy. Everybody, like everybody, I think it can be. I was like, why do you think that? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> but true story though, I came, I was in London once, and Mickey, Mickey Rourke, I actually raced him in the streets. I'm serious, if you go on YouTube and type it in, you'll see it. It's there. We raced in the streets, it was, it was cool. I shouldn't imagine that he posed much of a challenge. No, no. Yeah. He cheated though. Did he? On your mark set, and he was gone. I was like, oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> and you still called him? Yes, I did. Uh, <laughs> but I guess you have to be careful, because you can't just be going out doing it. If something happened to you, if you twisted an angle, then that, that's a major problem. Yeah, but we are looking at it. I, I don't, you can't stress too much about these things. For me, I, I try to enjoy myself. Uh, I try to do everything that I want to do. Uh, I have a quad bike, which my coach hates. Well, they can but be very risky. They're very yeah, but it's so much fun. It's, yeah gets the blood pumping and it's, it's wonderful. You've so. got to have fun as well. It can't yeah. all be just running. Yeah. This is what I've said to myself yeah. many times. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what about the kind of, you, you've kind of brought a lot of fun into the sport, I think. I mean, it used to be, when I used to watch it years ago on TV, and you see people, and before the race, you'd pan across the faces and they'd just be, yeah, exactly, <laughs> staring down the line. And now you come to you and you're going, all that stuff, whatever. I don't know which one you do. Exactly, that's the nice one. Um, and you have the dances, you have various yes. victory dances as well. Is the... we're, gonna, we're gonna do one before we leave. You wanna try one? I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you. Well, let's have the, let's have Okay. What is this one? Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna pull anything, because I've got a big weekend plan. Yeah? Really? <laughs> okay, so what are we gonna do? It's called a sweep, it's very easy. Okay. <laughs> you know that move? No, I don't know that one. <laughs> You don't know that one? No. Boom, ba, boom, ba. Pop in and pop in. I just, I just made that one up. Yeah. That was a whole new one there. That was called Thank Walk you. in the Pug. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, you say. So, show me, what you got? It's, what you, it's what called you... a sweep. Back in there, you got just one. That, it's simple, it's one. Yeah. Ooh. Put your hand movements oh, in Oh, this is getting complicated for yeah. me now. Hold it. So right hand with right leg? Yeah. The other. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the hamstring's okay. So when have you done this? You went, went, went after which races? It was actually in, in, in Beijing I did it. This year I was way too happy. I didn't even remember to dance. You just went crazy, didn't <laughs> you? Yeah. Well, you did the mo just, after yeah, one of them, the didn't you? Yeah. Me and Mo, we're coming from long... We have the same age as Ricky Sims. So we've, we've been together like for six years. So I've seen him go through struggles and everything. So I told him like, I'm gonna do them all. And he said, all right, so I did it. I'm like, yeah. How cool do I look? <laughs> he's, he's coming on the show. Uh, I've got Mo on the show in two weeks time. So he's thinking on that. Okay, let's do the sweep. Let, uh, okay. That's a pretty good start. I think, uh, I think we've just upset a lot of people I love there. You. <laughs> <laughs> Including my children, who will never speak to me again. Oh, dear. Uh, so, here's the, the question I need to ask you. Where do you go from here? You, you've done something no one else has done. No one on the planet's done, and probably, probably will never do again. How do you keep yourself... I'm out of breath from that. That's <laughs> <laughs> 
Somebody get a shinny zai. Somebody get him a tank of oxygen. <laughs> how, how do you keep yourself motivated? What do you do next? What are the goals for you? What do you have uh, to keep you focused? Well, for me, there's, there's a lot of things in track and field. Everybody wants me to run 400 meters in track and field, like everybody. And will uh, you do that? I'm not keen on doing that. It's kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> Especially training, so I'm not too keen on that, really. But uh, long jump, I always want to try long jump. But uh, I'll continue doing the sprints, but I'll definitely try different, different things. But we're going to sit down, me and my coach, we're going to sit down after the season and we're going to discuss which direction we're going to go. But I'll make new goals for myself, so I'll be motivated. Imagine this situation. Say I was Sir Alex Ferguson. Say I found you yeah. up. You're seen! <laughs> <laughs> My wee laddie. <laughs> Will you come out here and pee him out? You're naked. Now, <laughs> what would you say to the offer? Well, I'll say, I'll, I'll be there. If the money's right, I'll be there. No problem. <laughs> but you would, <laughs> you would I, like to play professional soccer? Definitely. That's one thing I, I want to try. I definitely think I'll be good. I've seen some of these guys play. I'm, I'm like, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you, you know about Alex Ferguson, you know about the, the hairdryer effect. You know about this, no. when, he, when he gets a little bit upset with yeah. the player, he, he will shout at them for some time, I believe. Okay. You ready for that? I'll be that good, so... <laughs> OK, uh, you're saying that uh, I'm so thrilled you came on, and, and I would, if we had another hour, I would sit here and I would dance in front of you as much <laughs> as you wanted. <laughs> Because that's the memory of your treasure, that you say? <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely remember that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, congratulations on your well, incredible really... success this year. Look I at those three gubbins. A shirt uh, for you. Oh, wow. Jamaican shirt. That's me done. That's me done. That's me. It, 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 should, it should fit you, I think. I'm the, they, they're the ones around the back. I think you should really... Yeah, medium check. is my size. That's yeah. right. Thank you. <laughs> They're seeing a lot of things around there behind your back. <laughs> you should really check your employees out. I'm just saying. <laughs> we brought a small in, like, a small no. Look, <laughs> I'll be honest, we only got you on because Mo was busy. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bang on too much if I were you. <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what a fabulous guest. What an incredible athlete. And you're going to stay for the music yes, as well? Yeah. But for now, will you join me in saying thank you and congratulations to... Uh, and, and this phase is overused, but he... I think he's a legend. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Usain Bolt, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. You got it. Thank you to all my guests, of course. Jessica Ennis, ladies and gentlemen. Tom Daly. Colin Fowler and the lovely Kelly Brook.